Hey guys! So today I just wanted to talk about some of my favorite plants. I don't know, I just woke up, just barely as you could probably tell, and I wanted to show you some plants that I'm extra loving right now. These aren't my all-time favorite plants, just right this moment. I've been noticing myself like ooing and aahing and staring at. Please leave a comment down below telling me some of your favorite plants right now. Again, not necessarily your all-time favorite plants, just ones you've been noticing like popping off lately, doing really well, or for whatever reason you really love. I'm very interested to hear what plants you've been loving, so now let's really get into it. First up, I really wanted to talk about, show you my Calathea macoyana. I just think this is one of the most beautiful and striking plants. It's one of the easier Calatheas to take care of in my experience. It's in my master bathroom. I shower, brush my teeth, you know, wash my face, pee diddle, shower. So I go in, can you stop? So I go in there quite a bit and yeah, I just am always like gushing over this plant. I think it's beautiful. It looks different than anything else in my collection and I just love the colors. I mean, the greens on the top are beautiful, but then you flip it over. Oh, the light isn't gonna let you see it fully and it's like purple and then at night the leaves do all fold up so yeah it's just really cool to see the be able to notice the leaves like moving and see the different colors of the plant which is why I love it so much and I 10 out of 10 recommend this if you're into Calathea. <laughs> Next up this is a really tiny plant. Oh I have two really tiny plants. Should I just do them in a row? Okay we have my teeny tiny little donkey tail succulent. It's so small! <laughs> This is one of my favorites. I actually bought a plant and it had a few of these donkey tail leaves in the plant. I didn't put them in there. They were just there when I bought it. And I decided to propagate them and this is this is what it is so far. Really small, but it was fun to propagate and to be able to see it turn into like an actual plant, not just a leaf with roots in a, this tiny little pot. So yeah, I don't know. This one makes me really happy every time I look at it. I love small things. I think I've talked about this before and that is small. That's teeny, right? Do any of you guys love small things? Because I I think I get it from my grandma. Next up is another kind of small plant. And this one's kind of random. I don't think I've really talked about them too much on my channel, but this is another propagation I've done from a pup that was in one of the plants I've purchased. And then I've grown it and actually been able to propagate it. So now I have quite a few of these growing, but this is a, it's either a mother of millions or mother of thousands. I get confused on the two. And like I said, I didn't actually buy the plant. So it was just... That's just my best guess. Anyway, I think it's really cute how it gets like the dark border, like almost purple, like there's some spots on this one. This this isn't the label for it. This is another plant I bought. I just propagated it in here. And how it has the ruffled edges, very different shape from a lot of plants in my collection. And it's been fun to watch, it's been fun to watch it grow from just a tiny little pup. Like it was even smaller than the donkey tail leaf. The pups these put out are tiny. Be warned though, if you do decide to get one of these, they form the babies along the leaf tips and they'll fall off. So they do spread very, very rapidly. So maybe keep it away once it starts putting out the babies, keep it away from your other plants so you don't end up being overtaken by these. But it's a fun one and it's nice to be able to propagate it and share with people. Love it and really easy to take care of. Next up is an Aglionema Valentine. I believe this variety is, correct me if I'm wrong. I just really like it. I don't know, I've had this for, a while now. It's kind of getting some weird thing, but only on this one leaf, so I'm not quite sure what happened there. The rest of the plant looks great. It's putting out a little um, baby plant down here, a little offshoot, which is fun. And I just think it's so pretty. This is definitely an underrated plant too, but I am consistently blown away by how beautiful this plant is and it's super easy. They do well in a lot of different lights. I keep mine next to an east facing window and it does fine there, but it can actually tolerate a little bit lower light as well. So yeah, these ones are fun. They don't need watered too often and I really enjoy this. So while we're here talking about some of my favorite plants, I'd like to pop in really quickly and tell you about my favorite learning website who just happens to be the sponsor of today's video. Thank you so much, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of courses available. I personally have learned so much in many different subjects using Skillshare over the past few years. And right now I'm really trying to hone in on my productivity skills, which are hidden very deep within me. <laughs> very, very deep within me. The course I'm currently working through is called Project Management in Real Life, Simple Workflows to Achieve Your Goals, taught by Nikki Henderson. I love the fact that this course 
provides clear, concise, and actionable steps, Skillshare is the place to keep us learning. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership, and after that, it's only around $10 a month. Again, that will be down in the description box. Thank you so much, Skillshare. Let's get back into the video. Another kind of common one, I guess all of these have been kind of common so far. My last few aren't so common, so. <laughs> anyway, this is my Neon Pothos in this cute skull planter specifically. This actually isn't a planter. It is a Halloween like candy dish that I decided to use as a cash pot. So it's been fun. I just really, really like this one. I keep it in low light and you can see it's super vibrant and growing kind of all over the place. You know, I love the weirder plants that grow really awkwardly and randomly like, like what's it doing? I don't know, I really enjoy it. And I like how full and bushy this is. And compared, you know how much I love golden pothos if you've watched like any of my videos. I do love how the neon pothos leaves are quite a bit bigger and more spear shaped in comparison to like a golden pothos leaf. I mean, you can see they're just quite a bit longer. I don't know. It's cool and beautiful and very, very vibrant. So I love it. I love it. What should I name? What should I name this guy? He's been sitting here since Halloween and I haven't named it. I like how it looks like his hair. Even though he's dead, he has hair. <laughs> Fun. Okay. On to the slightly more uncommon plants that have been my favorite. We will talk about Begonia melanobolata. When I got this, it actually didn't have any of these leaves. It was just these down here, these unspiky ones, but then as it matures, it gets the little forbidden chocolate chips. <laughs> I don't know, they look like chocolate chip, hairy chocolate chips to me. I think it's really cool. And again, this is one of the more unique plants in my collection. I am definitely finding a huge love for begonias, whereas a year ago, I was so terrified of them, but they're really not as difficult as I thought they were. This is one that definitely sparked my love for them. Yeah, it's like so fuzzy. Let's see if you can hear that. I love it. It's really cool and surprisingly not as difficult as you would think for like how cool the plant is. All right, this is one I've definitely talked about in like kind of recent videos. This is a Labissia spa real, I think is how you say it. It's beautiful, so striking. I don't see these very much talked about. The colors are so vibrant and it has like a really cool finish. Like it looks satiny, but velvety, I don't know. It just looks really soft. This is another one you would think would be really difficult, but it's actually not in the least. And it did take a while for it to acclimate to my home, but now that it has acclimated, it's doing really well and just popping off with growth. I have propagated a few leaves down here to hopefully get some baby plants. Would you look at those colors? Like they're just beautiful sunset colors and the markings are incredible really really enjoyed seeing this one grow and the leaves just keep getting bigger and bigger so that's exciting next up is a i think this one's considered common i think this one's pretty common uh, i don't know it is a deshidia ovata which if you've been on my channel and watched most of my videos you've you've heard about this one but i got this from steve's leaves and when it arrived i've i've never really had an issue with steve's leaves but for some reason this plant just was not happy at all and i think i kind of tried to overcompensate for that by overwatering it so it has taken i've had this probably two ish two and a half years now and only recently, only within the last like year has it started to grow. And even in the last six months, it's just taking off even more, probably because the sun's coming out more and more with the springtime. But yeah, it was so sad for so long. So just now, whenever I look at this plant, like I know where it started when it came into my life and how it's going now. I don't know, it just makes me extra appreciate this one because I did, well, I probably am the one that almost killed it in the beginning, but then I also brought it back from that near death, which has been really, exciting and it makes me proud. So yeah, and I think it looks really cute hanging. This actually lives in Kai's room and I just love it. I just love it, it's so pretty. Last up, I wanna talk about an orchid. So let's see if I can say the name of this. This is a Paphiopedia Narito Hasigawa Armeniacum, super gold cross mal malipoensi. Ah, here's the name. And I love all the paths I have in my collection. I have about eight or nine of them now. The ones I have do have the really cool foliage, like textured, textured, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Patterned foliage, which I already love. And it looks kind of sparkly. This one in particular, I'm loving right now because it is blooming and it's just such a weird bloom. Like, look at that. You know what that looks like? <laughs> you know what it looks like? Cause I know what it looks like. <laughs> Just really weird. I don't know. I just love it. 
looks like a little monster alien or something. I don't know. But yeah, here's a close up of the, oh, and look, I love the little hairs on the stem, on the stalk, I guess is what it's called. So cute. Okay, and then here's the foliage. I do keep this next to a north window in my bathroom and it seems to really be thriving there, but okay. Oh, it's totally not gonna pick up on camera, but in real life, it does have a little bit of a sparkly sheen and the texture is kind of like pantyhose almost. I really don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my camera to pick it up because it is so fine. Like even in real life, I have to look really close and focus perfectly. Even just the color and pattern there is beautiful. And then the undersides are even beautiful as well. I'm really proud of my orchid collection right now because the entire time I've had plants, I've been really, I don't know, they've just, I've never done well with them. I've tried orchids and I haven't done well. All of a sudden, the first time Ashley came, I got a bunch of orchids and now I love them and I've I think I've taken really good care of them. They're growing and blooming and doing their thing. So it's been fun, really fun. Those are all of my favorite plants at the moment right now. Let me know what you thought of them. And again, please let me know what some of your favorites are in the comment section down below. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see my next one. 